Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is the VG Pierce. I'll be coming at you with a gameplay review of Star Crawlers, and this is going to be developed by the people of Juggernaut Games. And so, this is a modern take on classic CRPG dungeon crawlers set in a gritty space punk universe. We will be able to build a crew of renegade adventurers on the fringes of space, taking jobs from megacores to hunt bounties, sabotage rivals, and conduct corporate espionage. I have to say, guys, this is a really good game. There are a few shortfalls to this game, like not having enough variants of monsters and of course the difficulty being a little bit too easy at first to a little bit too difficult at the end and there's no real way to change it in the options during their playthrough. And so those are the main things that I have to deal with but yes I still recommend this game a pretty good one here at that. So let's go ahead and load up my game, we're gonna proceed there to my save and I do have a level 6 right now and we're gonna continue on with this adventure right here right now so the greatest thing about this game they do have quite a few puzzles now if you were expecting something like I don't know Legend of Grimrock where there's a lot of puzzles to be solved you're gonna be in for a little bit of this point yeah there's gonna be puzzles in the main storyline the campaign mode but the dungeons will just have their own little quirks about them, some things you might have to figure out here and there, but for the most part, it's not going to be like Legend of Grimrock where there's this big old map and you got to move around and figure things out as you go and come back to the spot. No, there's none of that. It's basically you're going to be in this little hub here in the city that you're going to start off with and you're going to be a crawler. And you can go to the saloon to talk to guys. And here at Gear and Sundries, I'll be able to go and sell and buy gear. Here in the black market, I'll be able to grab up special type of loot that I'll be able to sell. And then here's going to be the medical bay where I can heal up and also buy medical supplies. I'm not exactly sure what this is yet, but we'll see. And then wire terminal, this is where you get to talk to all of the contacts. And as you see, there, there's a lot of contacts to be had. And uh, it's actually very difficult to keep them up because lots of times when you go and take a job for work as you can see here I can get plus five to Kage reputation but then when I do it I get a minus five M or LT reputation and I also lose rep with the UFP so that's minus five minus five and then I only get plus five with one of the of those guys there so you're gonna be hated and liked by different co by different companies there but definitely it's something you have to think about in the long run. You'll be able to hire different types of different types of classes here. These crawlers, and you can get the soldier, smuggler, forsyker, engineer, and then on top of that, you'll be able to get here on your overview. I can get the cyber ninja, which I am. I can get a hacker, and then a, uh, right here is a little bit of a special unlock creature, and a void psyker, which is more or less like the warlock class and. Virla's like the healer slash main hacker for your stuff and then Cyber Ninja which is kind of like a rogue type character from say World of Warcraft. And speaking of World of Warcraft this kind of loot very similar to it where the regular stuff is just gray stuff and then the little slightly better one is green and then the slightly better that's blue and then the, after that is purples for the epics. So some things that you can definitely expect there in Gear Sundry. The nice thing about this here is that when you are looking at what you can buy and sell, there's only going to be a limited amount and this changes up every single time when you are going to finish a dungeon. Some things kind of stay the same but for the most part it does change out. Ooh, grants to use a 38 experience on a single use. I'm going to have to buy that one there. So there you go, there's my bank count right here, 879. The best thing about this game I have to say is that when you're not doing the campaign and you just kind of jump into and look for a job to work, I can see here this little star says that this is the campaign mode, but all the rest of these are just normal jobs that you can just plain take. And the best thing is that it is all procedurally generated and it's going to be different every single time you do any one of these things here. And hell, even if you leave and come back to this game a few hours later, these jobs will also change as well, so you don't even need to wait for new jobs, quote unquote. You can just log off, come back on, and then you'll get completely new jobs. <laughs> oh gosh. And definitely though, the engineer, you can, as you see here, he'll, he'll be good with 
fixing up all of the mechanical stuff and constructs. For Psyker, it's kind of like the Paladin. Put up lots of shields and you can still do some damage and smuggler. And you can actually view the abilities. And they are kind of like that specialty kind of race where it's gambling, or not race, but the class where you do lots of gambling, where 80%, you toss the coin up in the air, you spend the credit, stuff like that. And then the soldier, he's going to be the big tank of your group. And you don't really necessarily need the tank healer DPS triage, but definitely it helps. <laughs> it definitely helps. Alright, so let's go ahead and speak a little bit more about the characters. And the nice thing here is that the you get what four slots here: accessory, shield, armor, and weapon. And then when you go to the black market there, you can go and check out what's for sale, and then you can get these mystery crates. Although, what I'm thinking is, why should I get these gray ones when they got the green and the blue ones right here for me? I almost always want the blue bees, right? I mean, they're almost always better. Heck, maybe even the greens, but I don't think I'd ever buy a gray. I don't even think that's even a possibility. Here yeah, I got a trace, tracing boom slang auto gun right here. I don't think I'm gonna need that. Now there are gonna be some items here that you can have for yourself that is gonna be specific to the class you're playing. As you see here, this is all my cyber ninja stuff. And if any game I could be a ninja, I'd do it, right? I mean, that's just a given. But here, as you can see, I can get more upgrades for my armor and I have to spend credits for it but definitely it's worth it because then I'll be able to boost my critical hit I'll be able to get my dodge up and then boost my chemical resistance so definitely all that stuff you really want to have on your side let's see here let's go to the info log again this is just kind of overview UFP anarchist and all the other stuff dossiers that I could pick up but I haven't picked up anything at the moment. And then they'll even a little help menu for you. Just in case you get a little bit lost along the way. And right now I'm kind of going for the assassination tree. So that I get assassinate at the end. That's going to be really awesome. And then my hacker, as you can see, the passive abilities where he can heal pretty much every turn. And then ups my dodge and my time units. So that's pretty good stuff. And then here, as you can see here, my upgrade. I get insert item. Pick my guy. And let's go ahead and get my boom slang tactical shield right here. Will I be able to reduce, increase shield charge, but reduce the shield absorb, which is pretty nice. So let's go ahead and get that going. And in fact, I want to get the boom slang shield up so I get plus the critical strike. And then when a shield charge is lost, I gain 4% dodge for the turn. So that's also pretty nice. I'm going to get all three of those upgrades. Let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm all upgraded up, baby. Alright, looks like I've already given one here to the hacker's jailbreak. And she is a hacker, so I'll actually be able to make use of this right here. Viruses, 20% chance to boost. And then here, I believe I got everything up one. Let's get everything up one. Right now, 827, so I'm pretty good on the credits. Increase critical strike chance. And then boost energy resistance. Might want to do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, 43 credits. As you can see, credits aren't easy to come by, at least for the beginning. So I'm just going to hold off for a bit. And then this, I do have a Void Psyker, so when combat begins, all enemies have a 5% chance to be confused. But enemies can be immune to that type of confusion, but it's pretty nice on the normal mobs. Increase critical chance strike. And let's get here. 50% shield pip, so... I think for the time being, I will just go ahead and move on to the next bit and hold on to my money. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good idea. 41 for that. Let's go cheap if I can. Right, let's go ahead and grab that. Dodge is increased. 10 for the next one. Let's just go ahead and do it. And then, critical strike chance. 43! I'm going to be cheap. <laughs> 41 for that. 25 for this one. Might as well. And then... 41 for the 50% chance to restore one shield pip on heals. So that's going to be good enough. Let's go ahead and jump into the action, yeah? Let's go ahead and do that. And let's just pick this right here. I don't know, 5 in lap, but I lose 5 allure. But I also gain rep with the UFP, so that's plus 5, plus 5, and then minus 5 to the allure. So 
That might not be too, too bad right there. And 120 credits to boot. Nice, nice, nice. Rigo's offices. Oh, no, I already got minus five to Kage. I think I'm going to do this one right here. The allure. And so we're going to accept that. And then you can choose your members. Get up to, I believe, eight. And then I'm on the way. So let's go ahead and check it out. As I said, all procedurally generated dungeon. And also the loot is going to be different every single time. So even if I go out and come back, the dungeon is going to look completely different, which is what I love about this game. And considering they have a lot of contacts to work with, then definitely you could do a lot. So let's go ahead and take a look in here. And there is going to be a free roaming look, but it's all going to be grid-based movement here so that when you are doing some puzzles, then that actually kind of matters. So right here is kind of a locked room right there. Right there, yeah. It's going to be a locked room. And we can do the security door panel. Now, since I do have a hacker, it actually allows me to have a different kind of thing that I could do. Oh, and I tried to, to lock onto it, and it didn't work out. And I got attacked. Corpsec guard! Alright, well, let's go ahead and take him out. So this is my strike. These are things that I need points on very much similar to the rogue in world of warcraft <laughs> world of warcraft all right so they have shields that they have to penetrate through at first and then after that they do their full damage and they do absorb some of the damage as well so i'm going to do the shadow boat and that will fill up my void energy you have to watch out though void energy when she gets it up to maximum it does have a chance of killing her so i have to watch out Let's go ahead and get the dot up, and then that will help out. And I'm going to get the hyper thread up to help my dodge chances and also help my time units. Let's go ahead and continue attacking him. He's at 63 health at this moment, 480 for my boy right there. Let's just go ahead and continue on with the madness and attack him up. And that helps my critical ability. Let's go ahead and use this, and that's going to be my thing that spends the void energy and shoots up lots of missiles at their faces. Beautiful. Alright, so as you move around, and as you can see there, there's this red line right there. Yes, that is a trap, so I can click on it to get rid of it. And those are the kind of things here. If I tripped it there, then I would have had an encounter. And getting into too many encounters isn't such a great thing, because as I said before, you might get into too many, and you... Might have a bad time. Oh, she failed that one too. Gosh. Oh man, what kind of hacker is she? Well, she better pass this one right here. Yes, nicely done. Okay, great. So as you can see there, I did, I didn't get that panel there, and so it didn't deactivate this here, I believe. And I see, I gotta watch for that thing to scan back around. It is going past, and so we're going to jump in here. See if there's any goodies to be had. And it looks like there's no goodies to be had at all. That's too bad. Okay, well, nothing there. So let's go ahead and continue on to my next area. And as I said, all procedurally generate, so you never know. They even have little goodies lying around the ground. Hey, plus five credits. Sweet. And here comes my first combat right now. And as you see there, look, even level 1 to level 6, these are the same guys that I'm attacking right there. And that right there is the greatest shortfall of this game. I mean, it's just, you have all these cool abilities and all this great stuff, and it's the same monster types. I hate it. I hate that so much. It's like, it's got so much promise, and then it's the same-ish characters. Let's go ahead and avoid suck them out. Yeah. Use my ninja. Nice, nice. Let's get my dot up right there. And she's gonna miss. Kind of low percentage chance I notice. Misses with that a lot. But that's okay. It's pretty quick. But I'm gonna finish him off with my void hits. And I'm gonna level up. Great. Now one of my guys is gonna level up. And it's gonna be my, my ninja. And I get one ability point. So here we go, Nanite Toxin. Fling a dart. Infect the target with Nanite Toxin. And you give them poison, so that's gonna be a bit of a dot. We're marked for death. Deal 30% weapon damage and mark the target for death. 
boost crit and hit chance of your attacks against her for 10%. Two turns! If the target takes an action that places them before you in the timeline, you immediately move in front of them to act first! Hey! If you move to the target, add a death note on use. Double any death notes on the target. That's pretty cool. Mocking them for death. Pretty awesome. I think I'm gonna have to take that. Yes. Good stuff. And actually, I need to go back here and just separate it up a bit. Actually, that's... Uh, let's do that. Alright, security turret pops on the floor and begins to rapidly sweep the room. And good thing I have my robot with me prototype. Get the attention of the turret and initiate conversation protocols. Hail, fellow machine! Ooh. And it looks like it did not work. His talking did not work. So this, this, this right there, the malfunction is going to be this, that special thing that my robot have called Adam. <laughs> Let's see here. We can mark it for death. Let's see here. Okay, for death. Get my dot up if possible. What? Nice. There we go. And then get the void out. Him up. Nice hits. We do have our dot up already, so let's go ahead and get our stuff that helps us dodge. Probably should have just shot it. It's almost good. Just do that. Get these malfunctions up so I can use my abilities. But should be dead ish nope not gonna die well let's just do the flurry boom haha <laughs> it's just like that loads of fun this game let's continue on I got another guy that leveled up yes yes let's do that and it looks like it's gonna be my hacker so all allies regenerate 30% of their shields and damage absorbed by shields boosted by 50% that's pretty nice all allies boost damage they deal and reduce damage taken 3% for every hacker buff so this is actually pretty good. So this will help at first and help their shields come back or help them attack harder. And then rank 2 heals all allies for 1% of max health for every hacker buff. So that's pretty good stuff. Mm, this is just if I have the buffs though on him. Uh, on my people there. So multi-core and hyper thread. Those are my two buffs so far. I think I might actually take that. Boost damage allies deal by 10%. Ooh, that's actually nice. Using the ability applies observation to friendly targets, boosting their damage 2% per sec. So th this is essentially the same, except that this kind of helps reduce the damage. So let's go ahead and get this. This is gonna be this is gonna be pretty nice. Boosting the, this is really nice for the damage. So let's go ahead and get that. I like that. The more damage, the better. The virus. All right, great. Let's go ahead and move on. Uh oh, I stepped on a plate. Uh oh, I stepped on two plates here. All right, I'm gonna turn them off. I don't know what I did, but I did something. Auto craft bench. Sweet. Oh, but I don't have an engineer, so no engineer for me it means no auto craft. No, no auto craft bench for me. Let's go ahead and move on. Let's get my flashlight up. And these look like lockers, but it's just a wall now because... Ooh, Aeon Cube. Sweet. I can trade that at the black market. A locker. Sweet. Grab that up. And in this game, you kind of have to be looking all the way around everywhere. Gotta put your head on a swivel. Because you never know. You might get credits or whatever. It's really useful to... Scope out every single nook and cranny if you can. Let's see what this guy's all about. Mr. Teddy, is that you? Oh no, my apologies. Smiles mute. Attempt to hack the MIDI 8. Fair warning, just go nuts after the hack ends. Go ahead. Uh, hush, hush. Our souls are getting sucked into the void anyway. Yeah, let's do it. Blue Virula kills the sound module and returns the attention to the control panel. She turns and smiles. It's now under my control. Now we're both talking binary. What do you want to ask it? Will the child behave now? Access the system? Sweet! Disarm security system. Ask for an item? Let's ask for an item. Oh, no. Ask for something else. 
How about disarming? Yes! Sweet, ask about something else. Alright, ask about that. Uh... Pauses and turns. Oh, now it's gonna attack. All right. Well, I did get lots of information out of it, so worth it. Hey, what you throwing? What you throwing? Hey, did your mama tell you not to throw nothing at people? Huh? huh? It's all right. I forgive you this time. Come on, Virula. Show, him, show him here. Virus hot. Good stuff. Good stuff. Doing mark to death. That helped me out some. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this. Lizard. He's actually got a lot of health. 113. Get the strike up and add him. Nice hits. Void energy. It's 24. He is nearly dead. Let's take him out. Ooh, almost. At 13 as he heals himself. Oh, that dodged that one. <laughs> Well, now you're dead. The ninja. No level up. Yes. Nice. Corrupted tack chip. I see there. It's just useless fodder. Let's go ahead and level up. My guy. Chaos model. Passive abilities. Each malfunction boosts your damage by 2%. And the stun duration is reduced by 5 to 50 time units. Oh, that's awesome. That's what I want. I don't care. I don't care about anything else. Malfunctions happen a lot. Alright, let's just go ahead. Oh, there's the circle there, so that is a hostile. Let's move up. Actually, I didn't check if that for if I passed up any credits. Looks like I didn't. And I can see there, there's a little bit of light up right on the right there. And the nice thing here is that I can either take it now this is a two star item and so this could sell pretty good at the black market but it will impact my rep with allure cybergenetics but right now i'm a little bit broke so let's go ahead and just steal it so it's going to decrease straight away and that's going to kind of suck look at that terminal take a closer look and this is why we bring a hacker not too shabby your map's been updated nice now we will see everything this is this anything? A key card. Oh, look at that. A key card that wasn't lit up. Credits on the ground. Sweet. Look at that. Energon cube. <laughs> We're not transformers here, I promise. I'm not going to vouch for the guy called Megatron there on the side, but, you know. Move on over. All right, looks like nothing's here. All the space for nothing. That's great. We got all this stuff. I'm gonna take these guys out. Same guys I'll be fighting against here again. Nothing special here. I definitely recommend putting on standard mode because when you do the difficulty, because like I said, it, it does kind of vary in difficulty wildly, almost. Gonna just concentrate on one guy. It's our base combat. It's better to just concentrate on one guy, right? Like that up on him. Hit. Good, sir. Let's get my dodge up. And my time units up as well. Atom. Let's go ahead and use my kill cone that hits everybody here around in the three. That takes out the guy on the right. Perfect. Continue on. No need to do the the mark or anything like that. And then just do that. Minutes. He's nearly dead. He's almost gone. Let's just shoot him up. There we go. Again. Void energy. Yes, the battles can get a little bit repetitive, but again, if, if you're no stranger to turn-based combat, it's not a big deal. Nice. And Morgan will get the level up. And now we're going to do Backlash, Psychically Link with the target, dealing 20% weapon damage each turn for 5 turns, gaining 5 Void Energy when Backlash deals damage. 
Consume all void energy to unleash a violent storm. And right now I only got one thing that moves all that stuff, so I kind of want a second thing that uses up all my storm things, and that's really useful. Let's go ahead and do that. So these are my two things that use it. Good stuff. Alright, so now you want to check all the... You want to check all the cubicles, because, yeah, look at that. Look, credit right there. Look, credit right here, and also an Aeon cube and a lockbox. We're going to investigate the stash. Hardware improvement. This fits me quite nicely. Yes. Let's go ahead and complete the upgrade. My circuits are rushing power. Time to crack some skulls. Sweet. I'm not exactly sure what it did, but that is really good. Oh, and here's another thing that I can sell. There's only one. And I'm going to leave that alone because usually the ones, they only give me about 20 credits. So that's not really worth the reputation in my opinion. And it looks like there, I think that's the objective right over there. Looks like there's a locked area, but we're going to lose Lucky Hacker. Yes! Hack that open! Watch out, watch out, watch out! I'm just going to go around popping all the traps. Because you never know why, you never know. Alright, are we good? Are we good? Maybe? There's the terminal right there. There's a little spot right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, come on, man. It's alright, let's get in here. Server terminal, take a closer look. Um, I think I'm gonna leave. Uh, I don't know. Attempt to disarm it. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, we didn't do it there. Let's try that one. Got this. Take a little registry. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. That's an alarm. That is an alarm. That's going off. <laughs> don't worry, guys. Um, I was just visiting. Grab the crest, don't miss that. Ooh, exit door. There's gonna be a bad guy right here. Oh, he looks bad. He looks evil. Let's go ahead and get him. Corpse set guard, let's just put a. Oh, no doubt on him. That sucks. Well, you know what, guys? We are at the end here, and unfortunately, I couldn't finish this, but no problem. Loads of funds to be had, and. Oh man, again, definitely recommend this game right here. Beautiful Star Crawlers, pick it up. Definitely a re big recommendation. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe, like my videos, and hopefully I will see you guys next time. Get him! Get him!